My name is Catherine Orsborn and I direct the Shoulder to Shoulder campaign, which is a coalition of 34 religious denominations and faith-based organizations. Many others have joined together um, to sign on to this statement in the wake of, of the elections. Um, and I'm just reading a couple of portions before we hear from some of the folks with Muslim brothers and sisters in our nation. And in recognizing Muslims as vital members of society who are welcome alongside Christians and the unaffiliated, Jews and Hindus, Sikhs and Buddhists. I'm also the president of the Interfaith Conference and I'm also the national imam and chaplain of the Muslim American Veterans Association. And I'm the president and imam uh, right here of this nation's mosque, Masjid Muhammad. This is a, and it's important for my fellow Americans, Americans, and for him to uphold and to honor and to stand up, fellow citizens, we're standing for an end to anti-Muslim. The language of the founding fathers says, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal and endowed by their creator. Here, in this most important and precious document, is the recognition of Almighty God as the creator, and a recognition one religious community or another. If in our sacred text was Ayaka, where are you? It is a question that we stand here today asking ourselves and asking each other, where are you? And our one and only response is Hineni. One religious community or another. Cooperation in the United States. Our membership consists of 38 communions. The NCC ser serves, uh, and several of its communion members serve on the steering committee for Shoulder to Shoulder and are founding members. Our membership for one religious community or another. We cherish, and because of this kind of gathering, you have to be always optimistic that America that united, America that of people of different faith and values stand together to uphold the American values, to stand for religious freedom, that make my children and children of all of one religious community or another. I also serve as chair of the ELCA's Conference of Bishops. I'm here today as the personal representative of our presiding bishop, Elizabeth Eaton, who shares her very strong support of what we're doing here today. In coming to know our Muslim neighbors, we have become familiar with this verse from the Quran. We are called to be a healing in our basic humanity anywhere and everywhere. I stand here also as a rabbi on a campus and as a mother. These days, our schools, as always, should be among the most safest place because that's where we send our most precious, beloved children. One religious community or another. Muslim houses of worship and Muslim homes or businesses and those perceived to be. Our research found that in 2015, there were 174 reported incidents of anti-Muslim violence and vandalism. From March 2015, when the first presidential candidate announced his bid for the White House, to one year later in March 2016, we found that there were approximately 180 reported incidents of anti-Muslim violence. I'm Jack Moline, M-O-L-I-N-E, President of Interfaith Alliance. What happened to my little girl? 25 years later, she works for the Federal Emergency Management Administration. She spends her life making sure that those people who have been damaged, who have in one religious community or another, and I'm sure that there are people who will... This conference, thank you very much for being here. Alaturkaonline.com <laughs> The first Turkish e-newspaper in the U.S.